Hello, I'm Lenore Moudou, Vincent Macquarie's on assignment. This is Africa 54. Former South African track star Oscar Pistorius is now under house arrest after being released from a Pretoria prison one day earlier than expected. Prison officials released the disgraced former Olympian Monday night under the cover of darkness in an attempt to avoid a media frenzy that has followed Pistorius since his shocking arrest for the murder of his former girlfriend, Riva Steekham. For more details on the release of Pistorius, we go to Johannesburg, South Africa, where VOA's Anita Powell is standing by live via Skype. Good evening, Anita. Hi, Lenord. Now, why was Oscar Pistorius uh, released a day early? So technically, the Department of Correctional Services says it's at their discretion when to release people on parole. Technically, he was only released about two hours short of midnight, mm -hmm. around 10 p.m. Uh, local time. And he was supposed to be released on Tuesday. He was just released a few hours early. Um, they said it's up to them. But okay. It seems reasonable that they just let him out because they wanted to avoid the media frenzy. But what are the terms of his release? So his family was very clear to say this is not release. This is a transfer from one sort of prison to another. He'll be under house arrest. He has to undergo psychotherapy and community service for the rest of his five-year sentence. Okay, so we hear that he's up for appeal on November 3rd. What is that about? So that is a different issue. The prosecution says that Judge Tokozile Masipa made a legal error when she convicted him only of culpable homicide, which is basically your manslaughter. Okay. Um, so they're challenging that. Um, and so we may see a change in the verdict. And how are people reacting to his early re release, if we can call it that? So we're seeing a range of reactions in South Africa, and they range from, you know, he has supporters here, his family's very glad and relieved that he's out. They range from that to indifference, people saying, we have other things to worry about in South Africa, and then to outrage, people who say, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. What were people really looking forward to in terms of the verdict? Did you talk to some people? What were their reactions? Right. So... Many people in South Africa, and I'm just talking about ordinary South Africans on the street, said at the time that they believed he should have been convicted of murder. But South Africa doesn't have a jury system. Uh, all these verdicts are decided by judges. And Judge Tokozila Masipa disagreed that he was willfully um, responsible for the death of Reba Steenkamp. So she and the South African public largely disagree on this one. How is the family reacting to, to this, to, to all of this that is happening to Oscar? Well, so his family released a very short statement today saying that they, you know, they really weren't going to say much. They weren't going to answer questions. Clearly, they are relieved. But this has been a trying year, not just for Oscar Pistorius. It's been a trying two years, rather, for the entire Pistorius family. Uh, the media has been basically on them since since day one and so one imagines that they're still feeling very much under the glare of the, the world and anita has anyone seen uh, oscars after his release <laughs> no and i think that is the one thing that everybody wishes they could see everybody's curious about that but nobody has seen him and that was partially the reason for taking him out under the cover of darkness he hasn't been seen but the family spokeswoman did confirm that he is inside his uncle's house any words on if he will continue to exercise and and, and do his athletic uh, uh hab you know <laughs> well it's important to note that he has been banned from international competition for the rest of his five-year sentence so while he is possibly free to train he has mm -hmm. a gym at his uncle's house we won't be seeing Oscar Pistorius on okay. the track competing. No. Okay. Well, Anita, thank you so much for joining us. And thank that you. was uh, VOA's Anita Powell reporting live via Skype from Johannesburg, South Africa.